This is how to meditate. Sit comfortably, relax your body, do a mental check for points of tension and let them go. Typical tension points are the forehead, around the eyes, the jaw, and the stomach. Scan your body for tension. Breathe slowly while focusing on the area of tension and invite the tension to fade. While the cause of the discomfort may not leave, the physical expression of it can soften. This often allows you to deal with the cause more effectively since the energy used to defend against it can be channeled toward resolving it. Now shift your awareness to your breathing. Proper breathing is central to meditation practice, and proper breathing means breathing from the diaphragm. Breathing from the diaphragm allows you to breathe evenly and fully right into the lower part of the lungs. When practicing meditation, bring your awareness to your breathing for a few moments. Do not interfere with it. Just watch the flow of the breath and the soft rise and fall of your stomach. Breathe evenly without gasps or breaks. Don't regiment your breathing, and it will soften of its own accord. The more gently the breath flows, the quieter the mind becomes. Whenever you find yourself agitated or ill at ease, focus on your breathing and return to that gentle flow. You will calm down and be better able to handle whatever it is that is upsetting you. When you simply sit and watch the mind at work, when you refuse to follow any thought or feeling and allow all thoughts and feelings to rise and fall of their own accord, your mind slowly ceases its chattering. A deep quiet emerges and, for a moment at least, thought ceases. There seems to be no conscious activity in the brain, no thought no thinker. Yet there is a profound knowing, albeit without a knower or an object that is known. After a few moments of just sitting and observing what is happening, begin the repetition of a holy phrase or mantra. The purpose of repeating a holy phrase silently during meditation is to give the mind something to do. As soon as you begin your meditation, your mind will clamor for attention. Thousands of thoughts and feelings will flood your conscious mind. Distractions by the dozens will seek to draw you away from your practice. Suddenly, everything is more important than meditation. This chattering of your mind occurs whether you practice with a mantra or not. The difference is that with a mantra, You do not react to the noise. You simply observe it. Yet, you can help the mind quiet itself with the mantra. Returning the conscious mind to the repetition of a word or phrase gives the mind something to do without giving it anywhere to go, since the repetition does not generate linear thought. It does not distract the mind into replaying and analyzing the dramas that occupy it during the waking hours of your day. Like a baby sucking quietly on her thumb, the mind occupied with meditation curls up into a comfortable corner and becomes still. When your mind wanders, and it will, don't fight it. Simply bring your attention back to your silent repetition. That is it. There is nothing magical in this. No visualizations, no affirmations, no fantasies to occupy the mind and thrill the heart. Just sitting, breathing, and silently repeating a holy phrase. Can it be that simple? Yes, but do not mistake simple for easy. Try it, and you will see that it is not easy at all. Yet, if you practice diligently, in a short while, the benefits will become clear. You will be calmer, less stressed, less willing to identify with all the craziness around and within you. You will gain distance from your own desire for control and power 
and be better able to act in the world with justice and compassion. It all depends on your making meditation a fixed part of your day. In this way, you will retrain the mind to see the world as it really is, the integrated, flowing wholeness of God.